pop quiz for all you doctors out there. What is Law 3 from the House of God? Welcome to the Doctor's Mentor Show. If you believe that medicine is an industry and not a profession, if you enjoy submitting complex reimbursement claims, or you would do another residency just for fun, be advised, you're about to be offended. You should probably leave now. All this talk about mentoring doctors is ridiculous. I thought doctors learned to do everything better than everyone else the first year of medical school. At least that's the way they act. If you love assisting patients with vitality breakthroughs, if the right to practice medicine without interference is important, and you want expert tips for practice freedom and profits to support your epic life, welcome aboard and prepare to be blown away. The Doctor's Mentor Show starts now. Here's your host, Dr. Lori Barr. The summer before I started medical school, required reading for the incoming students was Samuel Shem's novel, House of God. Inside that novel was a blunt look at the inhumanity of the American medical system. More about that inhumanity in another show. Today, we're going to focus on Law 3 from the House of God, right after we clearly declare... Today's topic. Love. Law 3 from the House of God states... At a cardiac arrest, the first procedure is to take your own pulse. Anyone who has participated in a code understands the wisdom of this law for the best possible outcome in a stressful situation. Here's a variation on the third law that can help you develop the mindset necessary to grow the profitability of your ideal medical practice and to grow as a human being. It's a tool that you can use to take your own pulse with regard to your medical practice. What was that? A human being? That's right. No matter how much your practice or your training has dehumanized you, your colleagues, and your patients, there's a simple tool you can develop to improve your own mindset and the mindset of those around you. The tool is a scorecard. I use several scorecards with the doctors who pay me for one-on-one consultation or in mastermind groups. The one I would like to introduce to you today is the Doctor's Mentor Practice Perception Scorecard. I developed this tool based upon the mindset of physicians who are in failing practices and those in wildly successful practices, so that any practicing physician or healthcare professional could take your own pulse and see how you feel about your current practice situation. The scorecard allows you to score eight vital mindset areas that are essential to medical practice success. Here they are. Patients, partners, payers, the patient experience, workflow, cash flow, flexibility, and exit strategy. You use the sliding scale to rate how you feel about each aspect of your practice. So for example, examine these statements about your practice's flexibility to adapt to change. In this situation, On one end of the scale, the low end, the failing practice mentality, the mindset is, the way we've always done it seems to keep the doors open, at least for this year. That's good enough for me. And at the other end, the successful, wildly successful practice mindset spectrum for flexibility is, only a cat is more flexible than we are in our practice. If things aren't changing, then we begin to worry. Are you getting this? Are you beginning to see how taking your own pulse regarding your current practice might open your eyes to possibilities you haven't considered? Now, you might be asking, Dr. Lori, we perform 360 reviews. Why do we need another scorecard? Both Peter Drucker, widely recognized as the founder of modern management, and William Edward Deming, widely credited as one of the inspirations for Japan's remarkable economic recovery after World War II, emphasized that only managing measurable metrics is not enough for business success. Denning said, it's wrong to suppose that if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. A costly myth. As doctors, we are constantly thrust into management roles, whether or not we're paid for them. The Doctor's Mentor Practice Perception Scorecard is a tool that can provide a rough metric of something that otherwise is considered unmeasurable, mindset. Now, the trick with managing the unmeasurable is to actually stop and think, to reflect with wisdom and experience on what the protege is sharing 
when you mark a scorecard and to use it as a platform for actual, wait for it, as a platform for actual conversation and face-to-face communication. As you manage your practice, there are a number of factors, mostly feelings, like patient satisfaction for one, that cannot be directly measured, yet it is imperative to manage them for practice success. You can use a scorecard as the springboard for a conversation, for dialogue about what is possible in the ideal medical practice where doctors and patients really are loved and respected as the amazing human beings they were created to be. Your next step. Go to thedoctorsmentor.com, join the community, and fill out your copy of the Doctor's Mentor Practice Perception Scorecard. Then go into the Doctor's Mentor Facebook community and post your score. If you're worried or embarrassed at your mindset, then leave me an audio message at thedoctorsmentor.com. I'm always here to steer you back onto the path where your practice and career support a lifestyle you love. There's more to explore at thedoctorsmentor.com. Oh, by the way, 34 years after penning House of God, Sam Shem published a 14th law. Can you guess what it is? Connection comes first. Put that into practice and you'll love what you do every day. Are you stopping at a hospital? Hello? Don't you know that hospitals are one of the sickest places on the planet? Don't touch anything in there and get out as fast as you can. 